The Arrowverse lost me, but the more I hear about Crisis on Infinite Earths, this epic crossover, the more interested I am in it. Let's talk about it. Welcome to Durbania, I'm Durbin, and this is why I'm interested in the Arrowverse's Crisis on Infinite Earths. I, I don't mean to like get super negative about the Arrowverse, it just, it lost me. I mean, the first two seasons of Arrow were brilliant, and I feel the same way about The Flash. I never got into Legends of Tomorrow, and I only made it two seasons into Supergirl, and then it kind of lost me, but like, the whole Team Arrow deal... I don't really care for it. The show is epic and gritty because it's about Oliver Queen and his journey to become the Arrow. And around season four where they took the Arrow and made it cartoony because the Flash being kind of, you know, happy and joyful, like seemed to be doing well. And then they decided to do that with Arrow. It kind of just destroyed its identity. And then focusing on Team Arrow, like, I don't know. I didn't like anything about Team Arrow. Just give me freaking... The Arrow Trinity, which is Diggle, Felicity, and Oliver. Like, that was awesome. So if they could have kept it that way and kept it interesting, I think I would have been more interested in the show. And The Flash, I just kind of feel like they took Barry Allen from this hopeful, joyful character, this grim, oh, come on, guys, let all the laughter die, because this is just far too serious. Why so serious? I don't know. There's something about that that just utterly lost me and that kind of became my impression of Barry Allen as it went on. So the CW lost me and again not trying to be a jerk by saying this I'm just trying to emphasize what a great feat this is that suddenly I'm interested in Crisis on Infinite Earths. In fact I might have to go back now and definitely watch the Elseworlds crossover because I totally didn't even see that. So I might now have to go back in time just to get myself kind of caught up. But here's what has me interested about Crisis on Infinite Earths. First off, Burt Ward. I mean, I think that's kind of cool. Like, it just shows a lot of respect towards the DC Universe. Burt Ward as the Robin from the Adam West Batman show. So I think it shows a lot of respect towards that to bring him back in. So I think that's pretty cool. But one of the big things that has me incredibly interested, Brandon Ralph as the Kingdom Come Superman. I just think that is so epic. I haven't read that Kingdom Come graphic novel in a very long time, but I have read it and I really did like it. And I think it's a great idea. And I think it's really cool to see Brandon Routh as Superman again. From everything I understand, this is not a continuation of his Superman from Superman Returns, which it's funny because like, I only kind of 50-50 liked that movie. It had a lot of good stuff to it. It had a lot of stuff I didn't really care for, but I liked Brandon Routh. I thought he was a good Superman and to hear him being Superman again sounds really interesting. So I'm curious, what are they gonna do? Because on Legends of Tomorrow, he's Ray Palmer. He's the Adam. Like, is that Ray Palmer gonna see this Clark Kent and go, oh my gosh, in another universe, I'm not just a Kryptonian, I'm the Kryptonian? How does that even work? Like. Are they going to do that and have these two kind of look at each other and be like, well, that's fascinating? Or is it just going to be one of those things not even addressed? But either way, I'm kind of curious to see what are they going to do with that and what does that mean to have Brandon Routh as these two completely different characters all together? But that Kingdom Come symbol on his chest kind of has me pretty excited. Then, the thing that has me the most excited Kevin Conroy as an older Bruce Wayne. We finally get Kevin Conroy as a live-action Bruce Wayne. I love this dude as the voice of Batman. In Batman the Animated Series, Mask of the Phantasm, and everywhere else where he's lent his voice as Batman, I love this dude as Batman. Which kind of feeds into the rumor mill of Linda Carter coming back as Wonder Woman. Now, how cool would it be to have the DC Trinity as the kingdom come? Maybe like the older, wizened hero heroes giving advice to these new heroes as they're fighting in crisis on infinite earths and i'd love to see like all three of these characters like join in in the fight as well and how cool would it be if kevin conroy is maybe training up a young protege protege like a batman beyond how cool would that be i would love it since we have kevin conroy now as a live action bruce wayne let me see mark hamill as a live action joker oh my gosh that would be awesome to have an older Joker, older Batman, Kingdom Come Superman. I would just be so down for all of that. That would be incredible. The next thing, I think this is still the rumor mill as of recording this video, Tom Welling returning to be Clark Kent. You know, the Smallville Clark Kent. 
That's what I want, man. That is the biggest thing I'm most excited about. That's the biggest thing I'm excited about to have confirmed one way or the other. I freaking love Smallville. Now, I kind of have a love-hate with that show because when the show went bad, oh, it was bad. But when that show went good, it was good. It has the best live-action version of Lex Luthor to date with Michael Rosenboom. And I love Erica Durrance as Lois Lane. That's my favorite live-action Lois Lane thus far. And I thought Tom Welling really grew into that role. He's a fantastic Superman, so... Listen, execs at the CW, pay Tom Welling whatever that man wants to be paid, okay? You would have me for sure if you have it confirmed that we are continuing the Smallville Superman just in this crisis on Infinite Earths thing. I would be so freaking down for that. Tom Welling, just take the job, man. Please, I beg you. I, your Superman is incredible, and I want to see where this Superman is at today. So that's kind of what has me excited about Crisis on Infinite Earths. What has you excited about Crisis on Infinite Earths? Let's talk about that in the comments. While you're there, hit that subscribe button to become a Durbanian and hit the bell by the subscribe button so you're notified for my next movie review, ranking video, theological analysis, trailer reaction, or anything else I do here. I'm Durbin. Thanks for checking out Durbanian.